Guys, this is Mr. Joshy J, and this is your preview to the Formula 1 2024 Saudi Arabia Grand Prix, Round 2, Jeddah. Now, going into this race, this is a street circuit, but it has a very long straight, so engine power will be key at this circuit this weekend. Mercedes believe they have fixed their issue what was caused in their cars at overheat, so we'll wait and see what happens with that one. But going into this race, no doubt Red Bull are the favourites, but my team Ferrari can do very well at street circuits, so don't rule us out either. Leclerc be looking for a better weekend as... In the race, he really struggles with the car handling, and Carl Sainz, the smooth operator, was much better than Charles Leclerc, so Charles be looking to bounce back very strongly and finish ahead on the smooth operator this weekend. Max Verstappen obviously is going up for the race win. Sergio Perez won at this circuit last year, so it'll be interesting to see how he does, because he does really well at street circuits, so you can't really rule him out either, can you? My joiner Lewis Hamilton will be looking to bounce back out of that disappointing show in, in Bahrain. Hopefully we'll out-qualify the male model this weekend, George Russell, but we'll wait and see what happens in that one. McLaren, you know, it was all very close between Ferrari, McLaren, Mercedes and Aston Martin at that time. So, they'll be looking for a much better weekend to McLaren. Obviously, last, this time last year, this circuit, they were absolutely horrific. Their car was absolutely nowhere. But this time round, I think they're in much better shape than what they were this time at last year at McLaren. Alpine, I mean, it's a very sorry thing for them, isn't it? I'm not going to lie. Uh, battling for last, that's just embarrassing. I mean, that team is in dire need of repairs. I mean, Gazi knock on must be absolutely human, the package. They got, they're not happy one bit, and I don't blame them. Racing balls, now, they'll be looking for a match this weekend, and hopefully... This feud between one foot one and Daniel Ricardo has been resolved because this cannot go on. It was unnecessary and uncalled for, in my opinion. And one foot one dive bombing Daniel Ricardo. I mean, you can't do that on the cool down lap. That is so dangerous, honestly, in every department. I'm a fan of one foot one, but that needs calling out. You cannot go and do that whatsoever. Aston Martin, where will they be this weekend? I believe they could have a strong weekend, but we'll wait and see what happens. I think maybe they'll be battling for fourth or fifth, but yeah, sometimes they can do good or sometimes they can do bad, Aston Martin. It just depends what type of shape they're in. Kick Sauber, now be interesting to see how they do. Guan Yu Zhou, Steady Eddie, had a decent race in Bahrain, finished 11th, so he'll be looking to build on that. Bottas, he'll be looking for a much better weekend, in my opinion, as he literally had his race ruined in Bahrain with that bad pit stop. Haas, Nico Hulkenberg, he was a hero in qualifying, but the villain in the race damaged his front wing, and that literally ruined his race. K Mag, be interested to see how he gets on. And finally, Williams. What sort of Williams is going to turn up this weekend? Are they going to be good or are they going to be bad? Alex Albon, I'm expecting to be the team leader. And Logan Sargent, I'm expecting to struggle as usual. But join me for a qualifying reaction now. I will be working, but tomorrow is my last shift in my job as I have resigned from my job. So next week, I am a free man once again. So I will do 60 seconds YouTube shorts reaction. Race reaction. Now that will be on Sunday because obviously Saturday I have my Manchester United match reaction to do so sunday race reaction then monday driver ratings and team ratings for the saudi arabia grand prix 
Looking forward to it. Let's hope it's a much better race than in Bahrain. We need some competition, otherwise Red Bull, well, they won every race last season apart from one. But anything to go by Bahrain, they really could win every race this year. And do the unthinkable, wow, unbelievable. Bye-bye.